you updates. Today we're talking about tax planning, right? Now it's getting, nobody wants to talk about this. Of course not, it sucks. You don't want to pay the IRS any money hard earned that you've worked for. But guess what? There's always different ways for you to make that work. So you do not have to hand over your bag of money over to the IRS. And what I mean, today, right now, we're in October, right? And most people start planning for taxes in April, like the 10th of April, right before it's due. So if you really wanna save money, guess what? You gotta make yourself a tax plan. You gotta figure out what goal you're gonna have, what goal you have, and where you wanna get to. If there's anybody you should really confide in, as far as your goals in life should be, your tax man because your tax man is gonna try to figure out the best way to make sure that you're keeping the money that you got and if there is a reason why you need to make it work a different way then you can and and he could or she can recommend different ways for you to do that right so tax planning is important and you guys start doing that right now don't wait to the end because once you show up with seven days before the taxes are due and then you're asking for an extension guess what an extension is an extension is that you already you already have to hand over some money because you already know how much you're gonna pay right it's not an extension for you to do your taxes and it's, it's an extension for you to pay your taxes so it's completely two different things if you want to save money you got to do it now and you got to come into your tax office with your tax preparer and let them know what you want to do now if you're buying a business guess what you need to figure that out you need to figure out how are you going to finance that business and the way that that's going to work when you step into a bank the first thing that they're going to ask you what is it right away your taxes boom right there and if you report very little on your taxes say you have a profit ten thousand dollars now if you're making a w if you have a w-2 right and then your self-employed has different to self-employed then it's pretty simple it's pretty straightforward for you but there's also deductions that you could take off if you're working as an employee and if you're an employee say you're a teacher or fireman and you have a house guess what there's a couple of things there that you need to do for your house and then if you have a couple houses that's even something else that you gotta do so everybody has their own special situation not every person is the same and the taxpayer needs to know that and they need to work with you so that so that they're ready for you, right? Um, if you have your own business, and of course you have to pay taxes all the time, there's different ways to do that, so you don't have to pay any taxes, right? So those are the things that you need to consider. If you're buying a business, that's something that, uh, that you need to kind of start thinking about how you're gonna go ahead and finance the purchase of that business. If you're selling your business, you need to figure out how you're gonna make sure that all the numbers line up so when you sell it there's no questions about it and the and if you're buying a home same thing when you walk in and you're trying to get a loan for a house what are they gonna ask you they're gonna ask you for your taxes first and foremost right so all these things take tax planning and you need to be prepared if for some instance I have uh, for example I had somebody and we're talking about taxes last year somebody sold their house right that same person has been going to the same tax preparer for about 10 years. Tax preparer did not know how to handle the sale of a home so that they wouldn't pay any taxes. Yeah? Now, the tax preparer for 10 years told them that from the sale of their house, they would have to pay like $25,000 because this one person also made about a hundred thousand dollars so that is a lot of money they had a profit of about four hundred thousand dollars in the per in the sale of their house and they used all that money to buy another house right now there's laws that are separate from selling your home and buying a new home and selling your second home and buying another home. 
So there's two different things and and you want to get in contact with the tax preparer that knows these things. If you're planning to sell your house, same thing. You need to talk to someone that knows when it does sell before you even consult with the tax, with the realtor. You need to go to your tax guy and be like, hey, how much money am I gonna pay? Right, because that doesn't make sense. If I, if I, have a, if I bought a house at $300,000, and now, especially in LA, that house is worth half, you know, one million and a half. You're gonna have a lot of money in taxes that will come due. So why sell a house when you're gonna have to fork over a hundred thousand dollars in taxes? You first off, before you do anything, before you think about selling that house, you need to talk to your tax guy and tell your tax guy exactly what your situation is and let them know, all right? If your tax guy does not give you a good answer, you need to talk to somebody else because not every tax person is the same, all right guys? So before you make anything uh, that is involves a serious decision, you need to talk to your tax person and start working with them now. Don't wait till next year because next year every tax professional is going to be busy you want to work with someone now and get that ready if you're thinking about buying a business selling your house um, saving some money for your kids any of these situations talk to someone who knows how to make it work for you till next time